Hi guys, so this is what I want to read in the fall for 2020 of this year, and so yeah, let's get on to the video. Okay, so I have a big thing of books for you guys. Hold on, I do have my current reads right here, but I don't want to do that now. So I have one pile, right? another pile right and one more book so let's start with um let's start with this pile the one that they just put here so the first book okay so i've had this book for a while and i've always think like this is like the first book in the one of Us is Lying series. So, yeah. So, this is the book. It's called One of Us is Lying. And I think the next book is One of Us is Next. Um. <clears throat> I. Excuse me. I don't want to destroy the book jacket, but I can't really find it, but I heard that um, there's another one in the series. So, here's the first book. I heard it's really good, and some I like some people like, like it, but don't like it, but I always wanted to read it. And I've had this on my book list for a while now, and I picked it up in a whim, so yeah. So, that is that one. I hope I like it. Um, alright, I have the Hocus Pocus series is my next one, um, and it's the sequel, so, so there's the movie of it, so, okay, I love the movie, I, I think it's the, I think it's, like, the most, like, Halloween vibes slash, like, fall vibes in general, and even when it gets close to Halloween, I love to watch it. It's so fun and spooky, and these witches are amazing. I even have pops of them, and I don't have them right now. They're not with me. Actually, I do have them with me, but they're not with me. You know what I mean. But they said the all new sequels. So I have not read the Hocus Pocus actually in a book, but I would just love to read this. And it will be so cool to read it this year, especially during Halloween time or September to October would be the perfect time to do so. At least the end of September through October. So, this will be fun. Alright. The next one. I'm not a whore. Like, I don't... I do not like whore. At all. Like, I mean, it's not like I don't. It's just like, I'm not like a big fan of it. I do love mysteries. I love creepy like witches and stuff like that but um the guest list um gabby reads um really enjoys this book and i picked it up because of her and i really hope so i really hope i like it because it is about a wedding in irish ireland and it says one bride the plus one the best man the wedding planner the bridesmaid. All have a secret, all have a motive, but only one is the murderer. And I, that's what kind of intrigued me for this. And I was like, OMG, I am excited to read it. And of course, it's the Reese's Book Club pick too. So it's one of those and I love that. These are all the books I have not read yet. And I really want to get to them because I've had some of them for a while. One of them I just picked up just recently. But... Well, this one also I picked up recently, but it, still, I just haven't gotten around to it, and I just really want to read them this year, at least try to read as much as I can this year, and if I don't get to all of these this year, which is totally fine, I'll get to it next year, but still, I'm so excited. But yeah, I'm excited to read this, and I love murder, I love crime, I do not... <laughs> Okay, I love mystery, and I thought, I like, I think I would like this one, because, like, I know she writes horror books, or, like, thriller books, 
mostly thriller, I think it was, thriller books, I'm just not a big fan, again. Like, I like Twilight. I like this. And that's not even horror. And that's, like, awesome, though. So, that's why I picked this up, because of Gabby. Okay. The, okay, I don't know if you're gonna hate me, but, um... I picked this up, finally, I found it in like a thrift store, I think it was, or I don't know where I found it, but uh, no, at Half Price Books, actually, I found it at Half Price Books, and I have not read it, I heard a lot of people like it, a lot, and yeah, so it is the Diviner series, I love ghosts, I love stuff like, like, again, I love stuff like that, I just don't understand why I don't like, um, like, actual, like, thriller. Like, I like thriller. I do not like, like, horror and stuff. Like, you know what I mean. <sighs> what is it also? Um, I've read the, um, Muse and Nightmares, the, that st series, whatever, Stage the Dreamer, Strange the Dreamer, sorry, 2018. I loved it. I loved the all of it. And it had, like, ghosts and everything. And I loved it. And that's why I probably would pick up this. Because it's it might be something like that. It might not. But it has, like, some types of stuff in there. And I did get the um, audiobook. So I'm definitely going to read it in there. And if I like it, I'll like... I have Libba Bray's second book. So maybe I'll read that. And it's only 500 pages. On um, certain pages. Um... Like, the Twilight book I am currently reading is, like, 600, so it would be an extra 100. But, yeah, this is actually nice. So, I'm excited to read this, hopefully, this year. Alright. This thing, I, I just picked up this book. Just recently, a couple days ago, I was obsessed. I wanted it so bad. Serpent and Dove. Um, It's, like, about witches and stuff, so I love witches and, and like, just stuff like that. So, it says, bound is one to love, honor to or burn, which is, which and, which hunter trusts into holy min, mon, I don't know. There is only one way such a story could end, a stake and a match. And then don't miss the blood, honey, and honey. So this is the second book in the series, so if I like this one, I will like the other. Um, this one's $11.99. This was really cheap. I mean, of course it's not cheap, but this is cheap for a paperback, and the, I, this was on um, hardcover for a long time, and I was like, I need to get this in the paperback, so I picked it up finally, and I'm super excited for this, so... Next book on my list is Miss Peregrine's Pier Pier Home for Peculiar Children. So I got this like series, like the series, um, like the three in the box. You've probably already seen me unboxed it like two years ago or whatever. Um, but I wanted to read these so bad. <laughs> And they had to get that. And also, um, yeah, and there's so, and there's, like, pictures and stuff in here. Like, <laughs> this is creepy. That's creepy. But I was like, I think I would like this because I wanted to see the movie, but I can't because I would like to read this first. It's like I like to read, like, I like to get read read first then watch the movie i watched a little bit of little woman but i still want to read the book first and then read watch like rewatch it like rewatch the beginning like the whole entire thing uh because my mom was watching it the other night and just decided i was like what is it and she's like little woman and i'm like great I wish I could read the book first. So, yeah. So, I'm going to do that at some point. But this is Miss um, Peculiar Children. And I heard it's really good. Um, it's creepy. But it's good. Um, and again, if I don't finish this, maybe I'll get rid of the series. I don't know. 
Um, like, if I don't like it. Um, but I think I will like it. So, maybe I'll read this in either October. Maybe if there's, like, a, like, a readathon in October, that'll be nice. I'm just missing Summer Reen. Sorry, Gabby. Sorry, Olivia. But, um, I'll link their channels down below if you want to see it. But, um, I would love, love, love to do it next year. So, that's what I'm going to do. But, yeah, I'm excited for this book. Another one, it's The Beautiful by Renee Ambre, Andre. Um, I got this last year for Christmas from one of my great friends. Um, look at the cover. It's so cool. I love it. And it is about vampires. And it's set in New Orleans. I love a setting like that. Um... Okay, so it's a romance and thrilling mystery. Master teller. Renee Agenais, um on her most post... Something. Fantasy yet. Series yet. So it's a series. I think it's a series. I'm not sure. But it's really... I heard it's really good. And I'm... And I was like... I was asking it, and so my friend finally got it for me. I was so happy, but I never got around to it. So this is another book I would love to get to, for sure. Okay. Two more books, and then we're done. Here. So here's this one. I still have not read it. I've gotten it for a long time. A long time. Hazel, The Hazelwood by Marcel Lambert. Uh, Albert. I heard it's like a retelling of like Alice well it's about a girl named Alice and it's like I don't know but it's it's so cute and the color is amazing again so pretty I was like dying and my mom was like don't get this because it's like she thinks it was like this was creepy or scary or what I'm like I just wanted it because of the cover too like the cover is like so pretty and everything and I even love the one the other cover too to this but I love this one the original one it's perfect Oh. And last but not least is the Broken Girl, Broken Things, um, by Lauren Oliver. And I can't really remember what this is about. It's about friendships. I just know it's about friendships and everything. So. I'm super excited about this. I do heard it's really good. And again, if I don't get to all of these, I will read some of them next year. I don't mind. Or some until like November. We have three months of fall, at least three. And I hope that I can read any of these books. Like I have one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine books. Nine books. But I will try to read them, and if not, I will definitely read them next year, some of them, and then add my other books. I do have a lot of them, so that is it. That is all I'm going to tell you guys for my fall um, TBR for this year, My what I want to read for fall 2020. 
Um, I'm super excited to do this, and I do have some Victoria Schwab books that maybe go might go into it, but I'm not sure yet. Um, it's just what I what I want to read for now is right here, and I'm super excited, and I hope this fall would be a good one. Hopefully, I can actually do some reading thoughts this year. I don't know. I just don't. I'm not like. I don't read books really fast enough to like be like everyone. Um, I can read books in, like, three days. I can read it in, like, a week. It's just the one book that I'm reading currently in an audiobook, the one in the Twilight series, whatever. Um, it's taking me a while. So, yeah, that's why I think this book is also going to take me a while to read in an audio. But we'll see. Again, I hope you guys please like and subscribe. And, oh. I have one more book, maybe, possibly, I might read. Or, oh, I'll add it in my other haul video, so. Alright, so, please like and subscribe. Please like, give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below, um, what books are you reading this fall? Are you excited for fall? I know I am. I love fall, especially during the Halloween time. Ugh, super fun. I love it. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And please like and subscribe. I know I've said it so many times already. Alright. Love you all. Bye.